Hi, it's Craig, and let's create the gated drum reverb sound that was so popular in the 1980s. You'll need two tracks, one for the drums and one for the gated reverb. In the gated reverb track, insert a reverb effect followed by a gate. In the drums track, add a send that goes to the gated reverb track's audio input and another send that goes to the gate's sidechain. You'll probably need to optimize the settings for both sends. Start with hold and release settings around 150 milliseconds with maximum range and ratio. Threshold sets the level where the gate triggers the reverb. For a less abrupt cutoff with less expansion at lower levels, lower the ratio. Or split the difference with the range control so that most of the decay is gated but the lower levels pass through.